Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to today's episode of Beauty News Updates! Yeah. Um, so we don't have much to talk about today. No, There's lot. no. It's, it's slim pickings, yeah. um, which we don't mind, but we know that you guys love Beauty News and that's why you're watching. So we thought we would talk about Beauty News. Mm-hmm. And then we thought we would do a little very light-hearted, chill, relaxed Q&A. Yeah. So um, last night we were at an event and we were like, is there anything to talk about tomorrow? Yeah. Like we need to catch up to film something else anyway. So we're like, we can't just not have it up. So yeah. um, we did a bit of a shout out on our groups. Um, you our guys groups, if you aren't... came through oh my with God. the cues for the A's. There was over <laughs> 200 questions. So if you do want to see another Q&A... We might have to do it, <laughs> we might have but to. we pretty much just picked things that were like common questions yep. um, and that weren't going to take too much time. So yep. um, the schedule for today, updates, which slim pickings, Q&A, and then mail, mail opening. Beauty news mail. Oh my God. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. All right. Let's get on to Kathleen Lights. Yep. Um, we have seen her Dream Street yeah. Colourpop palette. Um, so we talked about this on Friday's episode. And now we can see the colours. Yeah. Um, it's not a bad little palette. I think it's quite on trend. Yep. Um, I like the look that she's created. She looks like she's about to cry, but I besides know, that... Don't I, cry, Kathleen. Don't cry. Um, but there's, like, nudes, there's deeper colours, there's reds. It's not a bad little palette. I kind of like it. I think it's a nice little palette. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I love this ultra-glossy lip. I think it is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then she has two ultra satin lips. Yep. There's a r- sort of orangey red and um, mm, like a peach, a dark peach maybe. Yeah, like a pinky nude. Pink- yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Um, but one thing I do like about, that's going back to the palette, is that it's got half mattes and half shimmers, yeah. which is my perfect split. Um, I kind of would have preferred to see it almost organised this way though. Yeah. But, um, you know, people jumble stuff up. Yeah. But, yeah, nice mattes, nice shimmers. You can oh, easily stop create looks. showing it to me. I want to buy it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's, yeah, I think she's done a good job. It's, um, it's nice. Teals. More teals, please. Yeah. I like until, teals. Until people, like, get them bang on right. Just... And teals mixed with, like, bronzes. Like, there's no bronzes in here. Yeah. I would have loved a bronze. But teals with mixed with bronzes oh, and, like... Burgundy is really, really pretty. Beautiful. Um, speaking of Kathleen Lights, though, um, KL Polish has come out to say that they've got international shipping. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be nine ninety nine mm-hmm. uh, for like a flat rate, and um, essentially they're going to restock the site very soon. Right. So if you you if you look, go there and go, everything's sold out. Mm-hmm. They're going to restock very soon. Cool. Uh, we have a tiny like update from Kylie. She a while ago she discussed uh, bringing out concealers, and look, that's a picture of her putting on concealer. I wonder if it's just like the ColourPop one. Uh, I think it might be Bobby Brown. <laughs> yeah. No. Cool. Moving so, on. There we go. Um, Nas showed a natural radiant longwear foundation couple of months, uh, not a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And now we are seeing all 33 shades. Mm-hmm. Some people are upset that the light end of the spectrum is like too diverse and the dark end isn't dark enough. I That's, actually disagree. I think this is a decent range. I think it's range. A, a pretty good range. I think also what you need to realise is it looks like it's a quite a sheer coverage. Yeah. So... The, most of these will work on a lot of different like undertones yeah. and whatnot. I think they've done a really good job. I think they've done all right. Too. I think their biggest problem is probably the midpoint, mid-point. where they're all very warm and there should be some more cool I, tones. I that was my issue with it yeah. as well. They probably could plump out the di- like very deep end spectrum as well, um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's better than twelve shades. Or six shades, I or know. three shades. Exactly. Look, I don't mind the the actual range from the lightest to the deepest, yeah. but I do think the that the undertones are all very yellow. I agree. Um, with and you. Nas is notorious for that. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Stilla showed some images of some of their new shimmer and glow shades um, in 
freedom and I can't remember what do we got freedom boheme and carefree they're currently available in the US yeah. so if you want them you can get them yeah we also have swatches of the storybook cosmetic starry night palette it's very blue and green isn't it anyway it's, some um, nice blues in there but I, yeah you can't I think do much nice blues that by itself it's a bit it's a an addition palette. It's a yeah. Use it with the rest of your collection palette. You if, need other things yeah. to go with it palette. Um, Tart is uh, they're calling it Giving Tuesday. We've joined Red and Amazon to help the fight against AIDS with two of our favorite palettes. They've got the Tartus Pro Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette and the Pro Glow Palette. Ten percent of the retail price goes to. Um, end aids basically amazon.com slash red and they have this limited edition red packaging however i don't know if it's just the box yeah because it, i reckon it'll just be they've, think they've done is. the box yeah just, but that i think all that is indicating is if you buy these ones the some 10%, of the 10 percent goes, goes to, to yeah. Uh, yeah so there you go if you want to support that cause and you want those products it's, it's a thing you it's can do thing. it yeah all right then we've got violet voss god their packaging makes me angry um <laughs> what you disagree <laughs> i don't it's, you just said look, what everyone's thinking it looks hideous. it's just like yeah it's cringe your, to the max your font makes me rage yeah the whole thing um anyway we talked about their i'm so extra spray with the very basic font with the very yeah but also with the um the pump bottle not the That's right the pump spray not the actual like aerosol spray what's going on anyway it's coming out or it's come out um, and essentially, it is a glowing setting spray mm -hmm. designed to set makeup and be spritzed on a brush to use with loose highlighter. Yeah. So essentially, it's going to be like um, MAC uh, Fix Plus. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Um, and they've also got this, the perfect weapon, which is just a silicon bloody sponge, which no one cares about. Cool story, bro. Um, and then we've got the prismatic highlighters. So these are the loose highlighters. Yep. Um, there's going to be six shades. Once again, they are available as well. And these are $18 each. The look, yeah, that sunburst one. I do like a bit of orange. Yeah. I do indeed. Look, they do have a nice range of colors. Yeah. They've got a few wearable, a few colored. Not, not that it's not wearable, but yeah. a few nudes, a few colored. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're $18. The... The setting spray is fifteen dollars. The silicone sponge is nine dollars, and they've got liquid highlighter, twenty-two dollars, and that's Excellent. in three shades. This just looks like market makeup. It does look like market makeup, and also I find it really difficult to be excited because I feel like the highlighting um, thing, the market's oversaturated. It's yeah. just like, oh my god, seriously, like mm, too, no, much, too, too much, much, too much, too much. Well, that's all the update. That is. That's all the That's updates. That's all the updates. Do we, uh, mm -hmm. so we want to answer some questions? Sure. Do it. Let's do it. I'm excited. All right, I've got a little notebook. Oh, good. Because there were so many questions and we thought we would narrow them down um, in sort of categories. Mm -hmm. There's a lot we missed. Oh, I'm very sorry. Um, but the first one that came through that made me laugh, this was last night. We posted it. Um, we were together out at a thing and... Um, like within, I don't know, minutes, there, yeah. was a, there was a, or seconds, there was a question and it made me laugh so, <laughs> so Fontaine, yeah, we're not going to go into all names, but Fontaine said celebrity crushes, male and female, and celebrity crushes came up a lot. Someone asked what our teenage celebrity crush was, um, celebrity crushes, it was a common question. Yeah. You guys really want to know who we're keen on. Someone even said, uh, who's your celebrity, like, who would you get a celebrity hall pass for? Yeah, so, yeah. So, you know, so, there's a lot. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. 
Did you think of yours? I... Because this question was made for me. I know. I'm just going to get mine out of the way so <laughs> Kat can get on with it. Mine's <laughs> Kit Harrington at the moment. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, good choice. I'm down. Good choice. I, I'd let him. I'm going to say would. I've had a few conversations with my mum about how hunky he is and how nice his bum is. Oh, he's um, all right, isn't he? Yeah, we've, we've discussed it many times. In fact, I think Tuesday night over dinner was another one where it was brought up. <laughs> A common occurrence. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Yeah, so yeah. So I right, I'll teach him something. Yeah, it's fine. I, he's engaged to her. No! Why you break my heart? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I agree. You got that's good choice. Solid. Oh, I'm there with you. Yeah. Um. No, but this question was sort of made <laughs> was sort of made for me because I'm so ridiculous. I was talking to Simon about it last night, actually. Um, he's got into a black hole on YouTube of watching Shania Twain interviews because, you know, she lost her voice for 15 years and that's why she stopped singing. She got oh, bitten see. by a, a tick or something and couldn't lost her voice for 15 years. So that's why she's just released an album now since that's the 90s. That's a shame because she, one, beautiful voice. Mm. Two, quite a real, like her career was taking off. Yeah, well, I, that, I, I, and she did, she just dropped She just dropped off. off. Yeah, there was no like dud song or anything. She just dropped off. So anyway. Oh, I feel bad for her. Yeah, the reason why Simon was telling me that was because it's very well known in my life at the moment that I go into a weird black hole of watching interviews with Taika Waititi. It's weird. Like. Darren and my housemate will come home and I'll quickly try and turn off the TV and they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I've just spent the last hour just watching random interviews. So I think on YouTube, I've probably watched most interviews out there. It's yeah. a weird obsession that I've got. So She's in love with him at the moment. What I am. Want? What do you want? Mad like, respect for him. Look, yeah. it's, a, it's a respect thing. It's a, he's it's, hilarious. It's I really funny. like him. I love yeah. watching interviews with him when he's being interviewed by American people because they don't, most of the time, get they don't understand what's a joke the and, and what's not a joke. <laughs> and it makes me laugh. And especially when they follow it up with something okay. that they go, they're like, so, that, and, they're like, and he's just like, no, that, that was a joke. <laughs> You know, so it makes me laugh. It's a thing. It's an obsession on my Facebook. My cover thing is him at the moment. But teenage crush. What's your teenage crush? Um, Taylor Hanson. That's mine. Don't steal my man. <laughs> you literally and stolen it, my man. And it transferred into Zach because he's a hot one now. <laughs> Don't steal my life. She's teasing me. He's not the hot one now. He's the nice one. Who's your and teenage crush? when you're our age, you always want the nice ones. Um, no, here's the. <laughs> <laughs> this is my teenage. <laughs> <laughs> Last night's dinner. Um, I don't know who was my teenage crush. I don't really remember. Okay, all so... I know is I hated guys with long hair. <laughs> It's a fair point. It's a fair point. Yeah, I, don't I really, really like Leonardo remember. DiCaprio when he was oh, younger too. Oh goodness gracious, yes. Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'd still let maybe him you just had too many crushes. Maybe I just remember. like them all. Yeah. No, see, my teenage crush through to adult crush has always been Taylor Hansen, but I met him earlier this year, um, and he was very kind of formal. Yeah. And I was a bit like, mm. "You are very." attractive in real life chill out you bro. need to take a chill pill but who has taken a chill pill zach is is nice dude zach's fine yeah so you know i've kind of sort of transferred my love a little bit to zach it was always for 20 years going strong taylor, taylor hansen i did actually love taylor hansen when i was younger though in he's, primary school he's better looking now than he was when he was younger oh my god Fuck, he's a I happy man I... and in person you're like hmm Hello. I'm so I'm so angry that like I'm not dating someone that attractive. Like I know, like, fuck no, I'm angry too. Fucking rage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got that out of the way. Right. Um, and often paired with that was like favorite TV shows, oh, and okay. there's a lot of like, what are you binging on Netflix? What are your Netflix slash Stan recommendations? I don't have Stan. If I did, yeah. I would watch a lot of. Will and Grace. Mm, I don't have Stan or Netflix. We've got Foxtel. But I... Okay, favourite shows, things like um, Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. most hated show, The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. um, I... Look, I love period drama type stuff. So, like, um, Victoria. Uh, I don't know. What else What was that? I the watch? Crown or something? The Crown. Yeah, I love that one. Like, 
anything like that. Um, and even like going back, there was one about Henry VIII, the Tudors. Mm. So anything in that genre, I will always watch and I binge watch. Pretty much anything that I enjoy, I binge watch. I watch it until I've watched everything mm. and then I cry in a corner because I don't know what to do with my life. That's right. So yeah, that's mm, pretty much it. And I love shit like, um, is it called Outlander or yeah something like that? Yeah, he, he ca- uh, called the midwife. That's one I've actually gone back to watch. Yeah, I would say my Weird. favorite ones like of the last few years are definitely Game of Thrones and also Westworld. Oh, that's a good one. I forgot. Um, but currently, I've noticed that I like to watch and sort of binge watch. Um, sort of like detective crime things. Yeah. So like the one that I'm currently binge watching, and if we weren't sitting here right now, I would be watching it. Should be watching it. Um, The Sinner on Netflix, top notch, very good. I'm trying to get home to it. Yeah, I'm. I've Um, got to watch it. And and I was going to talk about it with Simon yesterday, but he's seen it all. He's like, I don't want to give it away. Fair enough. I'm like, okay, shush. Yeah, we know. Um, (laughs) and I love like the last one that I binge watched was um True Detective. So I like kind of detective stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I used to love Law and Order. All of the Law and Orders loved oh, them. Oh, so boring. Fuck oh, man. really? They're so like... Didn't like dun, them. dun. Yeah. Fuck dun, off. Dun, 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 no, dun, it's just... Dun. It's just all really same it, notion. It did. And it well, boring. it does. Yeah, it did. It got very same samey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next thing that was a big topic was asking us to show our pets. Now, I think people think we live together we don't because someone really on, wanted her birds to be in the video we live on opposite sides of the city yeah, yeah. and she's not taking two birds and a cat in her car to my no house. way that's cruel it's not happening so <laughs> no. yeah i've got two cats mm-hmm. um i can show you them but it's very hot at the moment and we don't really want to be like come here cat I, and i've done that many times yeah. like yeah like they're in my vlogs yeah. often my like, birds are in my vlogs, my cats yeah. in my vlogs. Yeah. So I show them on camera a lot. I've got two cats. I've got Baby and technically her name's Dudley, but we call her Dirtles. So yeah. Baby and Dirtles and they're always around. Like yeah. they're always on Instagram. They're always on vlogs. Mm-hmm. We've pulled them in to videos many times. Um, it is currently, what is the temperature? No, that's Google degrees, Maps, you, you derpy. It's 32.9 degrees. So it's going to be 35. That yeah. is like... Isn't that the equivalent of like 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the uh, US? Something like something that. Something like that. It's hot today. Yeah, we're I don't not, have air conditioner. Yeah. We're under lights. We're not picking not up the cats, cats and torturing them. But um, Hayley's got two birds and yeah, a cat. Two rainbow lorikeets and a cat. Little girl. Uh, some people did ask if we wanted to get dogs. I uh, We lost our dog uh, August last year. Mm-hmm. I am currently in the process of fighting mum to get a new dog, mm-hmm. but she wants a little thing and I want a big giant thing. Yeah. So the fight continues. Yeah. I will win. Yeah, Don't big you dogs worry. Are good. Um, <laughs> I like dogs. It's funny. I've noticed that people that are dog people hate cats. And yeah. then there's people that love cats, but, but also, also love, love dogs. dogs. Like yeah. I... I have cats because I live in an apartment and I think it's cruel to have a dog that I can't walk off of yeah. or doesn't have a yard to play in. Yeah. So I would love to have a dog one day, but in the past, ever since I've moved out of home, A, I couldn't have pets when I was renting, then I lived in a little unit that had no space and now I live in a, in a big apartment, mm. but I don't want to have a dog in here. So I'm all for all pets. I've had yeah. ferrets, I've had guinea pigs, I've had yeah. rabbits, I've had frogs, I've, I've had, had fish, rats I've had fish rats. And, I've yeah. Had, yeah, yeah, I love I've all pets. Too. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't have the time to dedicate to yeah. walking a dog often. So I don't have a dog, but I do. I would love to have a dog. Yeah, me too. All right. The next thing is sort of about us. People mm-hmm. are asking a lot about us. us. Um, and now. A, a common question was, how did you meet? And um, I'm going to say we've addressed this numerous times. Oh, my God. So um, many times. We did a wine time Q&A where we talked about it, I think, in depth. Yeah. So you can always go back and watch that. Um, but the short answer is we met at a blogger event. Mm-hmm. So we both had our own YouTube channels. We'd both been blogging for a few years, and we met through blogging. So yeah. it's not as if we just became friends and thought... Oh my god! Might be oh fun god. one day to start a YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. We no. had channels, yeah. um, and we had and we had a background. Yeah, we had yeah. A, yeah. yeah. So we just met through that, um, and yeah, that is that. If you want to see more about the story, 
there's plenty. We, mm-hmm. we talk about a lot in live chats. We put our live chats on private. So yep. I get that that's a common question common that comes question, up. Yeah. Um, but with that, there's a lot of things like um, how do you maintain like a, a good, good friendship, friendship and yep. stuff like that. And um, we were talking about it just before because we're like, okay, you got to respect each other and whatnot. Yeah. But at the same time, what it comes down to is when you click with someone, make them your friend. Yeah. If you don't get along with someone and they're a drain on your life and they're really negative and they, they, they grate on you, trim the fat. Like, you don't <laughs> need to be friends with everyone. No. Nah. Um, you can be I, – I like to see it as being you can be civil to everyone. Absolutely. But you don't yeah. need to invite them over for coffee if you nah. hate their guts. You don't like, need to have sleepovers. It's fine. Yeah. Like, and luckily, you know, we click really well. And yeah. One of the reasons why we started the channel together was because that's another question that comes up a lot, and I think we've spoken about it many times as well. Yeah. But how do we start the channel and all that kind of stuff? Um, and essentially, we were catching up after because I work near where she lives. Yeah. Um, so we'd catch up and go like shopping together, and then go have like a wine and just like chat about stuff. And then just I had an idea of talking about new releases, and she was the first person I thought of because I'm like, well, we like we, to talk about this stuff anyway. Exactly. So. We, yeah. we took a common thing that we have with our friendship and turned it into a video series. Yeah. And that's... That's it. Here we are now. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then people... A lot of people want us to... I don't know, criticise each yeah, other a bit? this is never going to happen, guys. No. And I'm just going to say this, like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it or anything like that. And don't be offended. But I think it's really important... Again, this goes back to, um, like, maintaining friendships and... Um, you know, how do we have such a good friendship? Mm-hmm. We let each other be their own person. Yeah. Like, you know, people say, oh, do each other's makeup. No, yeah. it's We're... not. I don't feel like it's really something that needs to be done. Kat yeah. is amazing at doing her own makeup. She doesn't need me to do my makeup and vice versa. Yeah. And and, and there, there's also been questions in the past. We didn't get it in this thread, but there's been a lot of questions in the past being like, Hey, there's a makeup artist. What would she do to make cats makeup better? Nothing. And it's just like, no, we, we, we think that's inappropriate. And we yep. had questions in the thread, like, you know, if you could dress each other, what would you do? If you could um, change something about each other's makeup, what would you do? Yeah. Um, what do you love and it's hate not, about each other? That's a you know, really like, I, I would never ever say like, what do you love and hate about cat? No, I would yeah. never do that because yeah. I don't hate anything about cat. You're exactly right. Like, and if I hated something about someone that was in my life, they probably wouldn't be in my life. Just but, to be. And also, like, the thing is that we do work together all the time. We talk every single day. Yeah. Um, like every, every single, single day. day. So if I had a problem with Haley, I would let her know yeah. that I've got a problem we with would, something. We would talk about yeah. it. Like, and it, and it wouldn't be to do with Haley as a person. It'd be to do with something external. Yeah. That I'm like, this is stressing this is me. annoying me. Yeah. Or can yeah. we do this differently? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think a key thing about our friendship, which is probably quite unique, is that I don't hold any resentment against Haley. No. I don't hate anything about her. No. She can dress however the fuck she wants exactly. to dress. Exactly. And her makeup is on point all the time and she can do whatever she wants. Like, yeah. I, I would never be like, yeah. you don't wear enough red lip deck. Yeah. Like, like it's not my it's place. It's just, it's not, not my place. And I, I totally agree with you. I think, like... Allowing people to be their own person and not criticizing them for it and accepting them for it is the only way to yeah. treat people. And if you, if there is someone in your life who you're like, I just cannot accept this bitch the way she is, that person should not be in your fucking life. Okay. For their benefit. Yeah. <laughs> not for your benefit. Not for your benefit. Your, your problem. <laughs> it's your problem. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Yeah. No. No. We're not doing we any of that. And we yeah. have had a few requests. And, that kind and of actually, stuff and it's not just in no. like this time. This comes up constantly, in, like in live constant, chats, constant, in, constant, yeah. constant, constant. And I think it's a very, really unhealthy way to um, conduct a friendship, basically. But I almost, and I, and I don't think this is where people are coming from. I think they're just really interested to know about more about our friendship. Yeah, which, which is, is totally, totally fine, fair. Yeah. But I kind of see it as being um potentially like a way to stir the pot yeah 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 so do i and i don't think it Let, I don't let's think get it's some healthy. drama out of them and let's yeah. get them like put them at, gets yeah. each other yeah. and it's just 
not it's cool. not, not yeah, cool. it's not healthy. All right, let's talk about Christmas. Christmas okay. has come up oh, a lot. Oh shit! I don't even know how so many people ask about Christmas. What do you do? <laughs> oh, she's keen. She's keen, Bean. Um, but people were asking like various things yeah. from gift ideas to Christmas. Like, yeah. how do we survive Christmas in summer? And we don't know anything other than Christmas, <laughs> Christmas in, in summer. summer. How do you survive Christmas in winter? Yeah. Like, tell me seriously, yeah. what's it like to have snow? At yeah, the... I would Like, know. I don't. I, yeah, we yeah. we don't know any different. Yeah. So, like, we essentially we do have Christmas in summer, mm-hmm. um, and it works really well because over Christmas holidays it means people can go to the beach, people can go on holidays, yeah. um, and it just means that instead of having the mid-year holidays that the US has, so like their big summer holidays, yeah. in the middle of the year we have them at the end of the year. So mm-hmm. we have holiday, like Christmas, New Year's, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We, go, we go to the beach for New Year's, so but, yeah. Um, it's n- not a bad thing, no. but we don't know any different. Um, and a lot of people are asking about Christmas traditions and do we have a Christ- do we have Christmas trees oh in Australia? Oh my god, no, yeah, we don't. We fucking, yeah, we have Christmas trees in Australia. We're not that <laughs> yeah. backwards, trees. So there were a lot of random stuff going on. But essentially, that was so funny. Do we have Christmas trees? Fuck, man. No, no. guys, we don't. We have drop bears. Yeah, you can't have Christmas trees because drop bears get in them and they will fuck we your have, shit up. We have gum trees, fucking eucalyptus trees. My God! Yeah, oh, I was no. like, really? So really? People think we are very no microwaves either. No microwaves. No, no Christmas trees. No. no, no fun. No running water. No. Yep. <laughs> then what's my dishwasher doing right now? <laughs> doing something weird. Fuck. Um, and people were asking about like holiday traditions, yep. like, and we were just talking about it before. We just catch up we with just, family. Yeah, it's very family yeah. orientated. I see my. Stuff. Dad's side of the family for lunch. I see Darren's family for dinner. Then the next day I go to the beach with my grandfather to have lunch with him. Yeah. So it's just... That's really nice. Family. Yeah. Mine's family as well. Another huge thing that came up numerous times was traveling. Travel. Um, where we'd want to travel to, what are places we've traveled to, where do we want to go in the next five years, and um, also where would we, we where would we do meetups. Yeah. Um, and... Essentially, I would like to go anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. Of, hey, Kat, do you want to jump on a plane and go there? I'll be like, oh, fuck my yeah, bad. Yeah, go. Um, we were planning 2018 Korea. Yeah. Um, and then we saw really cheap flights to Hawaii. But also, uh, there were some reasons why we were about, like, meh, about Hawaii. But it's more about, like, you know, cheap flights are great. But Mm -hmm. there are other costs involved with travel. So um, we definitely want to do something. Yeah, I think we'll go on a holiday next year, definitely. definitely. Where we'll go, I'm not too sure. No one Um, knows. In the past few years, I've noticed that I've gone on holidays every two years. Right. Um, But in... Since I'm now working from home and I'm a lot more flexible with work and Haley's great to travel with. Yeah. I'd love to go She's good to travel with too. We're like, chill yeah. as fuck. We're, chill we're as like fuck. whatever, yeah, man. It's good. No, it's you really wanna good. chill? Fine. We'll I'll chill. fucking chill with you. You wanna go drinking? I'll, I'll fucking, fucking come, come drinking. drinking. <laughs> um so I think we're we're kinda good to travel with. So and also because we work together we can literally work on it, the road. It's so and that is really, really helpful yeah i love that actually you know what i would love to do a Mm. cruise maybe not next year maybe the year after yeah but i'd love to go on a cruise don't know how we'd upload that might be a problem we'll We'll just have a lot of makeup breakup yeah yeah just like a month worth of makeup breakup yeah Yeah, ready to go um but yeah no essentially i think from now on i want to go on a holiday every year yeah i would totally love to do that but you know once again we earn jack shit so yeah we got to be reasonable we do have to be realistic about it um and when it comes to meetups i was actually talking to Haley the other day um like i'd love to wherever we go i'd love to do a meetup yeah um and it's just more about being able to organize those things and know that people are going to be coming along yeah. because it's it's very disheartening knowing that you might go to a lot of effort to organize something and then because people don't feel obligated to come along yeah. um no one shows up no one shows up yeah. and so we're a bit like weary about that um i did notice that in the group um someone's organizing a like catch up in LA or something. Oh, that's lovely. Like a dinner or something yeah. and i was like we should do that in melbourne so um 
either later in December or maybe in January, January yeah. um, I'd love to organize just like go to a restaurant and yeah. get people to like RSVP. Yeah. So I know how many people will be coming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, something like we want to do meetups. We want to meet people. And Absolutely. we do meet people for coffees. And we do. We sometimes people contact us and yeah. they're like, coffee? Shopping? Yeah. Yes, and if we've totally got time, for it. absolutely. Our problem is though that we work yeah. o- often in evenings and on weekends. Yeah, and so p- people that work full time, they're like, "Do you want to catch up?" And I'm like, "Well, we can catch up on Wednesday." And they're like, "No, I'm not going to work." No, no, right. Right. <laughs> yeah, so it, it can be difficult. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Um, no, we're keen to do meetups. Like we're not, we're not trying to avoid it. It's just no. extra planning and yeah, stuff. Yeah, stuff. Um, but we we're just talking about drinks. Then mm-hmm. a lot of questions about favorite drinks. How we how take, we take our, our coffee, coffee cocktails. Um, cocktails. So my coffee is white. Um, I like like flat white latte, cappuccino, whatever. Two sugars, large. She's There's, lying. She gets three sugars. Three sugars if it's like a fucking grande. Like no, you just have to get a normal large, and you get three. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm like you. You. Well, it, uh, unless yeah. it's got syrup in it, yeah. You get if it's one got sugar. if it's got syrup in it, I'll get like. It depends how big it is. Like yeah. I like I like my coffee to be sweet because I like the caffeine and the sugar rush. Yeah, that's it. um. If I'm just making it, I'll generally make it white, either just white or white with one sugar. Um, if I go out, I'll generally get a cappuccino or a mocha. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is because. I like chocolate. Yeah, fair enough. Centrally. Mm-hmm. And if I know that they make a good mocha, I'll go a mocha, but otherwise I'm just like cappuccino. Cappuccino is fine. Um, but I'll drink any coffee, every coffee. Yeah. All the coffee. I'll have it black. I'll have a short black. I'll have it long black. I'll have it milky. I'll have it You're like iced. It all. I have it fucking all. I'm all for trying new types of coffee as well. If I go to a cafe and they've got like a fucking, uh, what was that one? The red velvet? Yeah, that was weird. That was strange. But I like trying but I, it. I like trying new things. Yeah, would I buy true. it again? Probs not, but I would try something new. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, cocktails? Um, look, I love, you know, mojitos. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, espresso martinis are amazing. I love a good cosmopolitan. Trust yeah. me, there's so many bad cosmos out there. I'm just like... Good margaritas. Oh, good mar- Oh, my God. You know what I do love? A really good Long Island iced tea delicious i like all cocktails i so do i uh, the ones i don't like are the annoyingly the ones that were at brand cast uh, the really kind of like um strong scotch based ones yeah actually they were yeah, so those really strong ones kind yeah, of yeah like not strong i don't mind strong. it's not it's just a particular yeah taste. it's not the um the str- like the alcohol being strong it's the flavor being strong it's like and a polish remover. yes that's right and it can be really um basically hard to swallow yeah mm-hmm. that's true mm-hmm. um wine you uh, like- i love a moscato but i do i my when it comes to moscatos <clears throat> i like my moscatos to be sweet and tangy yeah um i don't like just that like full-on sweet sweet yeah um but i also enjoy uh a white wine so yeah i'm more red wine mm. pinot noir is probably one that i go for but no particular brand um, all right, so the next big topic was talking about YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, so some people were asking for tips. We did a whole wine time video on yep. our tips for YouTube. It'll be linked up there. Yeah. Just go watch So that. just go there. <laughs> um, and then we had, like, questions about, like, where our channel's going um, and, you know, just stuff like that. And your I don't guess, know, man. Yeah, your guess know. is as good as ours, guys. We kind of... We just take this one day at a time. Like Literally. we've got we've yeah. got series that we do on this channel. We're enjoying it. You guys seem to be enjoying it. We keep creating the content. We are always, you know, you know, the brain's always ticking for new ideas. Um, but we just go with the flow. Like yeah. for us YouTube is fun. Mm-hmm. And once it stops being fun, it starts becoming work and then you start to resent the job. Yeah. And like, like I think if you, if we kept this up, I think in like the next few years time, our channel would look very different to what it is now. I think so. Um, Absolutely. Because we don't want to do the same thing over and over again. And that's why like people ask us, 
we might do like a how many swatches in a concealer and then we get an abundance of, can you do this concealer, that concealer, blah, blah. I'm like, we don't want to do it every week. We're not doing the same concealer We always like to change things over. up. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, we'll come back to doing more concealers, yeah. but not for like two months because yeah. we want to, for us, that gets really boring. Mm-hmm. So um, we are always on the lookout for doing new things. And every now and again, we'll put a new video up that a new kind of concept and yeah. see how people respond to it. Um, but... Yeah, we we actually take it one day at a time. We do. Um, it's like Monday we film, Tuesday we do this, Wednesday, Wednesday I edit, this. Thursday this. I work, Friday we film, Saturday I edit. Like it is literally one day at a time. Yeah. Um, and I we, don't know. Yeah, we just live in the present moment with what we're doing. Yeah. That's, that's I wish it. we had great plans, but with YouTube, it's so fickle that yeah, you don't... you can't. When you think something is going to do well, it doesn't do well. When you mm-hmm. expect something that's just a, like a throwaway in, like, entertainment con- like thing, it blows up. You have no idea. And um, But one thing that I do think I want to change in the future mm-hmm. is um, we work like long hours and we right. work really hard. Yeah. And I feel like we work hard, not smart. So yeah. I think we need to reevaluate. Otherwise, we're going to burn out and yeah. not be able to maintain. I agree. So. There are some things that we kind of want to do to sort of change that. Yeah. But um, there are other steps that we have to take first. It's yeah. it's a thing. It's a big thing. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day... No, yeah. Another too- person asked... Uh, if we weren't making these types of videos, like beauty videos, what type of videos would we be making? What do you reckon? Um, I reckon if we weren't doing, I reckon if we weren't doing beauty videos or beauty related videos, we probably wouldn't have a channel together. Yeah, I think because I think that's a, an accurate yeah cl- statement to make. Yeah, because yeah. I like the next thing that I'm interested in when it comes to discussing things is like TV shows and movies and yeah. whatnot. And I would love to do like um, a review type channel. Yeah. Like I'm not actually going to do it because I don't know that much about movies, yeah. but that would be the next thing that interests me. Um, and I don't know, like once again, you got to find someone that is as interested in, in it as in you. It as you. Yeah. Um, See, I love watching TV shows, mm. but I'm not like super, like I don't feel like I need to discuss it. Yeah. I just want to watch it. I just want to like I'm, I'm the I'm the opposite. Yeah. I love watching it. I love watching a TV show that someone else is watching just so I can sit down and discuss and it. And talk them. about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, I love talking about like Game of Thrones mm. and stuff like that. Like Westworld, that was always fun to discuss. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I can't think of what we would... Yeah, but what, other than beauty, yeah, yeah, I don't. I think it would just be beauty. <laughs> beauty. All right, we've only got two more kind of questions. Mm-hmm. Um, one is like one was someone was asking about how we feel um, about creating like the beauty news community that we have um, and how we feel about our groups. Yeah. Well, let me put it this way: if we didn't like the groups, I'd just fucking delete them. <laughs> No, we love our groups. Yeah. And it's actually like, aside from What's Up in Makeup, they're the only beauty groups that I'm a part of. Oh, and also like makeup artistry groups, Mm. but they don't count. That's, yeah, that's it. I I think the funny thing is, though, that even though we created the groups, I kind of feel like... um, I'm no longer responsible for them. Yeah. Like there are mods do so our mods much. do all of it. Yeah. And without them, oh, we, mate, we wouldn't be, be able to handle the groups at all. So fucked. for me, like I put all my faith in their hands. Like they're the, they're the best. Yeah. So we've got Badra, we've got Gaynor, we've got Rebecca and we've got Joe. Yeah. Joe's the new one. So shout out to Joe. Um, but they, they do such a good job that I kind of go to the groups as a group member that makes sense? Yeah. So I never feel like I'm created a group. Yeah. I, we did technically create it. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're the ones that also, like, the mods will come to and be like, what do you think of this? Yeah. And we kind of make the final decision. Yeah. But what it comes down to At is I visit the groups as though I'm a group member. Yeah. So it's a, it's a bit Our bizarre. girls take care of everything. And I love those groups. I yeah. think they do such a good job. And like, all right, we put the rules in place and we do kind of rule with an iron fist. But it, I think it makes the groups a better community yeah. to be a part of. Yeah. Um, 
we want it to be a place where people feel safe to post and um, feel uplifted when they're, you know, viewing content on there. So, yeah, we, I, I love the groups. I think they're good. Yeah. yeah, I totally agree. And the last question is actually from Gaynor. <laughs> this one's great. Who's your favourite mod? And then she said in brackets, it's on like Donkey Kong, Badger, Rebecca and Joe. I'm leaving. How <laughs> dare you ask your mother this question? Yeah, don't make us choose between our children. <laughs> you can't make me pick just one. I love it. I want to go down to Tassie one day and visit Gaynor. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And Gaynor, if you ever come to Melbourne, you have to come and see us. Same as the other mods. You all have to you come. All we need to go to Germany one day to see Bad Drum. We're going to have a party. I would love to go to Germany. I would love to go to Germany too. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Guys, we have mail. We do have mail. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. spaghetti oh. Okay, this one's a... Oh, fuck. This one's a heavy one. It's from Australia. Australia, mate. Australia. There'll Australia be a, you Post. Watch, there'll be a drop there in here. Uh-oh. spaghetti oh right, let's open it up. Oh, okay. This is from Stephanie. We've got to let here. Let's let's do this one. Do we open these or do we put I don't them under know. a Christmas tree? Let me. <laughs> Hooray! It's fucking Christmas time. Yes, it is. Oh my um, god. Let me open oh the card. God. I don't know if these are meant to be opened now or saved for Christmas. I feel like they should be saved for Christmas. I know they're in like. Oh, uh, Merry fucking Christmas. That's ace you got that card. Oh, you can get it from Typo. Typo. Stephanie, you're so good to us. Oh. Um, all right, she says, Dear Cat and Haley, I hope you enjoy these goodies. It's not a traditional beauty news parcel, but I'm hoping you enjoy it all the same. No. Um... I just want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I thought this card was very appropriate for you guys. This is just a little Christmas care package I wanted to send you. Have a very Merry and safe Christmas and oh, New Year. Stephanie, Stephanie you are a sweetheart. Stephanie, you are a sweet heart. I reckon I what we're going to have you. to do is like string the cards I agree. in the background. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So, uh, what do we got going on? Ooh, ooh, I really ooh. want to put these under my Christmas tree. She has actually labelled them. Yeah. So, do we want to do that? Is that, Stephanie, I hope you won't mind. But what we, we might do, do we want to is, save them for Christmas? what we might do, this weekend I might put up my Christmas tree. Alright. We can put them under the Christmas tree and then maybe do a live chat opening them opening one day. Opening up actual Christmas presents. Yeah. Alright, let's do, do it. Do we think that? Because I this is so Christmassy. This feels really Christmassy. Like, it, it's, it's like so, Santa has just come. There's like actual like Christmas wrapped gifts. Yeah. I, I think, can we say, Stephanie, we're going to save them for Christmas. Yeah. Because it's like... It's super Christmassy. It's, it's Christmassy. Or at least wait until we've um, set up the Christmas tree and then and, we can film right. in front of it. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Here, pop Put that the in card. there so we don't lose card, it. That is Thank you so ever. much, Stephanie. Stephanie, you done. Keep an eye out for live chats. All right, so this one is from Ireland. Oh, it looks like cool stuff. We've got a card. Oh. Oh. We love, we love cards. We do love the cards. Oh, it's got a cat it's got in it. A cat. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, it's, it's so cute. So cute. I love cats. All right. Oh. Cat and Haley, aka Beauty News. I really love. Uh, I really love your channel. Also, your personal ones. Oh. You, you don't give a fuck and explain things well. Aww. I've been a newcomer watching you within this year, literally been binge watching Beauty News and your own channels. In the package, there is some Coco Brown products, which the founder, Marissa Carter, is Irish. Cool. Oh, okay. Also, so Su Suzanne Jackson is Irish and is very big in Ireland. All the others are random and you can do whatever you like with all the products. Keep up the good work. Aww, thank Love you, Ruth. Ruth. Wishing you a very happy Christmas. Oh, thank, thank you, you so Ruth. much. That's so sweet. This is interesting. This like, is I don't exciting because I don't, yeah, I think we are potentially not familiar with this brand. All right, so we're a little bit confused, but that's fine. So there's no Coco Brown stuff in here. But Coco Brown came to Australia in Priceline about a year or two ago. So I'm familiar with the tanning products. But in here, we've got some cool stuff. Girls yeah. with Attitude, which Midnight is a palette, palette, which looks cool. 
We got Sosu highlighting kit. Ooh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I'm keen to open that. It's got six shades. We've got some number, number seven, seven eyeshadows here. Yeah. It's cute. Nice shades. We've yeah. We've got an orangey bronze, a nice blue, and a purple. And then we've got this um, Note lip glosses. I'm going to open these. Oh, so there's two lip glosses. Ooh, oh, nice, nice colors. Beautiful colors. Think, coral and a nude. And a nude. Oh, do you want the coral? I don't mind. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Now oh, let's swatch yeah, these. Pretty. They're both nice. They are both really nice. Gorgeous, Perfect. gorgeous shades. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ruth. Do we open this? Let's open it up. I might open up the eyeshadow palette as well. Let's take a look, see. Let's do it. Oh, that looks nice. That's the highlighting oh, palette. There we go. Smoky cool. eye palette. Yeah. Not bad. Not Nerds bad. And smoky eyes. Thank you so much, Ruth. This Thank is cool. Thank you so much, Ruth. We will have a play. And it's new makeup we've it's never tried. It's new makeup experience. we've never tried. Never ever tried any of these. So that is really exciting. Thank you so Thank much, you. Ruth. Mwah. All right, next up we have a package from Shannon. She is from McMinnville in Oregon, in the United States. Let's open Let's open it, it up without I wanna to go to the United States. So do I. Wow. Oh fuck. Oh. Just going to show the box inside because this is massive. All right. So this is what we got. Look, it's chuck a block. What's got going on? We've got some liquid lipsticks down here. I'm just going to pull this out and say these liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild are fucking amazing. Ooh. And Rebel Rose, that's the one I've got. Yes, so I can yeah, get it. You can oh have my that God, one. look at this color. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. My God. Shannon. Shannon. You have outdone yourself, Shannon. Shannon. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, we've got we've got stuff coming out the wazoo. Eventually, we'll find a card, I am sure. So we've got more liquid yep. cat suits from oh, Wet n Wild. She okay. sent six of those, and she sent six lipsticks. These Ooh. are... Dun, 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 dun. It doesn't say. Um, but... They're cool. They're cool. Um, Great colors. I'm excited. I'm really excited. She, I think they're the, I don't know, lip color. A lip color, yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. Wow. I know. Wait, there we go. There's so many. Wow. We're dropping them. This there is amazing. There is also a Wet n Wild concealer. Ooh. I think there's only one in there, so that may be for uh, please do how many swatches. Mm. Maybe. Actually, there's two. Two concealers. Wow, she's a sweetheart. She's a two, gun. Two concealers. Um, this fucking smells amazing. I think it's like great shades. Oh us. fuck! Smell it. Oh. Yep. All right. Open that up. Get into Ooh. it. Get into it. Oh! <laughs> so cute. Cool. Cheeky. Oh my yeah. god. She's. Oh my god! Really? There's cool stuff in here. Firstly, my dishwasher's going. Wait. Out. Oh yes. Wait. Can I just do this? Yeah. Because you are so cheeky. <laughs> yes. That is so we exciting. We might have to. We'll we'll check out the colors and decide who's dead for what. Oh shit. I don't shit. think there's a card in here. Oh wait, there is. It's right at the bottom. Oh, All right. Let's good. let's get into the card first. <laughs> All right, the card says, thanks. In some cultures, I'd be presenting you with a prized goat or perhaps a necklace made of teeth. Inside, it says, makes you appreciate the card, huh? <laughs> yes. Um, oh. Okay, she says, you have really awesome handwriting, by yeah, the way, got... Shannon. She says, thank you so much for all the work you put into your channels, which I find truly entertaining. Oh. P.S. I'll be fucking shocked if any of the powder products arrived intact. <laughs> Hand cram. <laughs> I oh, love it. you are the best. All right, she did also print out a little note for us. She says, Hello, lovely ladies. I would have loved to actually write this note in a more personal way, but the last time I wrote anything more than maybe a grocery list was way too long ago, and my freaking hand cramps up, so yeah. there's that. Um, I've just gotten you a few Wet n Wild things to try, not knowing if you had access to any of these products, and guessing shades 
um, having never seen you in real life. We Wet n Wild is actually quite difficult. We can mm-hmm. buy some stuff online. It's always like not old stock, but it's stuff that's like been around for a long time. So it's not boring. exciting. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing they'll probably be a pretty shit match, but maybe someone else can use them if you can't. They're actually looking pretty good. Oh, I'm just, I need to adjust. Need to adjust. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the look shades decent. are looking pretty good, actually. Yep. Um, I'm not going to lie. They're looking pretty good. Um, you know, everyone's clamoring to get the ultra bougie wet and wild products, so don't start yourself a riot. I also included a couple of flower beauty sponges. Oh, cool. Had to take them out of the package to fit. Sorry, that's all good. We understand. Um, I'm curious what you think of them. That's these guys. I've Ooh. heard good things about these. She says, I also thought I'd throw in some snacks that are popular here because I'm just too cheap to fill in with all makeup. Uh, you may have some of these over there, but I was restraining myself from the Tootsie Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I took some home. My neighbor's kids love them. So thank you to everyone who sent Tootsie Pops. <laughs> the, you, like, the love has been spread. Um, just a little something because you ladies work so hard mm-hmm. and I just wanted you to know how much it's appreciated and how much I truly enjoy everything you do, both on your individual oh, and that's so sweet. I'm beauty news. Mm. You're gonna make my I cry. know, stop it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shannon. Oh. You just And that's so good because we've had actually a bit of a shitty week, so we, it it's been a bit of a rough one. And I <laughs> It's so good. You know what? Now that I see them, I kind of don't hate them as they're, much they're as I funny. like. They're kind of funny. They are funny. Can we just? I open? do want to try more of her lip products. Though, yeah, so, so do I. There we go. So that's one in there. We will definitely um, have a enjoy. look at them, and we will one hundred percent enjoy them. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you so much. So we got these. We've got foundations in a. Uh, I don't know what's in here. Cat, cat's like, yeah, oh, cat no, because I didn't even, I didn't even go into. It. I'm like, oh, stopping. We're reading, reading the notes. Yeah. So we've got foundations. Do you know what I love? That she Ooh. sent us both one of these. Two this of is, the same. Yeah. Good. So that's so cool. Like I've heard so much great things about. I've comfort never zone. tried a Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. Wow. I'm so. You just popped my cherry, Shannon. Cheers for that. Cheers Not for mad. That. Not, not hating it. Nah. And then we've got some cool, like, cool stuff in here too. All right. Awesome. All right. I'm so excited. So. Wow. Wow. That's huge. So we've got some bronzers. All right. And look, things are arriving intact, by the way. They're all intact. Contour. I love these that are she's... huge. Look how big these and are. And I love that she's getting us two. That's she's so like, cool. She knows that there's two of them. It's so sweet. Um, and then we got a powder, which is Ace, because we, we use a lot of powder. Use so much powder, so much powder. Can't go wrong yeah, with powder. Ladies. Thank you. And then just the last two little babies, a little oh! beige. Oh, they're the are they the creme brulee yeah. eyeshadows? Thank you. I have always wondered about these. And can I have a look? It looks like it's one of those like, like set your primer type. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I go through Perfect. so many Inglot ones. I actually wish I could like, like redo my makeup now. No. I want to try all this Thank stuff out. Thank you so much. That is so generous of you. You are a sweetheart. We have. Let's. Can we go through the candy? Oh yeah, of course. Don't. Let's let, do let's it. Let's not stop yet. Let's do it. I have my trays in, so I'm not allowed to eat any of this. Yet, I'm going to take my trays out. We Ooh. have Sour Patch Kids. Delicious. I think we can get these in Australia. Not sure. I've never tried I've them. I've never tried them, though. So, so that's cool. Delicious. Um, Cheez-Its. Never, he- never, never had them. Never had them. Never had them. We've got original and white cheddar. We will snack on these. We will. We've got... Because we're going to be doing swatching yum. after this. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. oh, this is what I can smell. Yeah. Juicy, juicy fruit. fruit. This is... Or when I was a kid, this stuff was wildly popular. We can still get it now. I haven't had it in years, no. though. Thank you. And it's got now longer lasting. We don't have that. We don't have that. We have these things called dum dums. <laughs> <laughs> We're like <laughs> 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 fucking Beavis and Butthead over here. <laughs> 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 I want one. I want to eat, I one. Want to eat one too. So they're lollipops. Yeah. Yum. Good. We've got Wrigley's Double Mint. Excellent. Keen. We don't have that here, do no. we? No. Uh, we used to actually. 
But I don't think we've had it for I don't a long think time. we, yeah, I haven't seen it for ages. We've mm. got Hershey's Cookies and Cream. It's melted a bit, but it's fine. It's hot here. We'll yum. eat it. Yum! yum! Favourite! Reese's uh, Peanut Butter Cups. These must be the big ones. Yeah. It says there's two in there. Yeah. And whatchamacallit? What? It's a whatchamacallit bar. I've never heard We're of it. We're going to crack it open. We're yeah. going to get into all of this. We're actually, after this... We're going to sit down and finish part three of a video that is very long, <laughs> literally like permanently scarring us. Yeah, and it's either going up tomorrow or Wednesday, yeah. so yeah, you'll see it. You'll but it see it. Took three sessions to film, and we're finishing it today. Today, so we're going to snack on all of these things while we feel that thank you so much thank you so much shannon yeah i'm so keen these are like things that i've been wanting to try for ages so yeah i done. agree you sent us snacks and really cool wet and wild makeup and actually these awesome they're, they're kind of growing on me i, I, I think have a look at hilarious. it it's pretty cool actually they're you've cool. got oh yeah i know you've got a really gloss nice. you've got a liquid lipstick and you've got a lip pencil and I personally think these tins don't look as scary in person as they did. They look shinier in, on the camera. Anyway, yeah, cool. they look, they look too fun. realistic they're in fun. photos, but... They're super fun. Thank you. <gasps> Let's do that. I'm smiling under here. You can't tell. I love it. So love cute. it. All right, guys, that's it for us today. We want to say a massive thank you to Steph, Shannon, and Ruth for sending us such wonderful generous, amazing. and generous goodies. Steph, don't worry. We will open your video, your package, or your we'll be a little gift tree. in a video. Don't you worry. Um, we really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little bit different for Beauty yeah. News, but that's okay. And if you do want to see um, another Q&A, like a yep. dedicated Q&A, feel free to ask in the comments, yep. um, leave your questions, um, and preferably non-beauty related, yep. because we that's get, more fun. Yeah, yeah. We want to out. We like it when our Q and As are less makeup related and more like this. Fun related. There was some great like beauty, beauty questions. related questions. Yep. Um, and they were, but they were more video ideas rather than rather than like it was like there was one that was like okay you've said your favorite lip product of 2017 yeah. what's your favorite other categories it's like that's a whole video yeah that's not a Q&A that's answer beauty that's, news awards that's a whole <laughs> yeah. or like favorites of 2017 yeah. that's yeah. a whole video yeah. so um yeah so if, if we can nice little branch it out. yeah yeah all right guys Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget you can join the groups and follow us on Instagram. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.